Hello, this is Haya Kesselo from Drone DJ, and today we're going to do a little video with the new Mavic Air. Uh, as you can see, we're uh, sticking to a theme today. We got the uh, Sanders foldable commuters bike, uh, or the Sanders Fold, I think it's officially called, as well as the new DJI Mavic Air drone. And today what I want to do is, uh, if you see this hill behind me, that used to be uh, an old landfill here in uh, Croton on the Hudson. Uh, we're going to test and see how well active track from the new Mavic Air does when I'm going to bike over the hill and down the hill. I want to see if it's able to uh, keep tracking me as I change my elevation. Um, so come with me and let's see how it does. <laughs> Okay, so right before I make this right hand turn, the drone had actually lost uh, me for a second or two. I was glad to see that the drone tries to reconnect, tries to find you again, and it managed. So the active track was able to still follow me, even though it had lost me for a second. Uh, in this section, I'm going up a pretty steep hill. The electric bike, of course, helps me to get up there without too much effort. Uh, but my speed is inconsistent and you can see the drone speeds up and then stops, realizes it's going too fast, slows down and then it realizes it's going too slow and then speeds up again. And it creates an inconsistent footage and not really very smooth or cinematic. So that's something to keep in mind if you're in similar conditions. The drone keeps a consistent angle as I go up the hill and relative to where I am, it has a pretty consistent position, which is a good thing to see. However, as you'll notice later on in the video, as I go down the hill, uh, the drone is not able to do it. So it works going uphill. Unfortunately, it, it doesn't follow you going down the hill, uh, which is too bad because it would have, of course, been really nice to be able to use active track on ski slopes when you're either snowboarding or skiing or mountain biking down a hill, for instance. Another thing that is worth mentioning is that if you fly the Mavic Air only from your smartphone, you're limited to 100 meters in range or 300 feet flight distance. It will not go any further than that. It will keep tracking you, but it won't keep flying beyond the uh, 300 feet uh, distance. Another thing worth pointing out is that the Mavic Air does not have the follow me mode that we know from the Spark as well as the Mavic Pro. The only option you have on the Mavic Air is the active track functionality. Another nice feature of the Mavic Air in active track is that you can send the drone circling around you either clockwise or counterclockwise and even though my speed changed, I was going down the hill already, picking up some more speed. Uh, the drone compensates for that and speeds up its flight as well as it tries to circle you. And as you can see, it does a pretty good job of keeping me in the center of the screen. Okay, here I was stopping the circular move around me. Uh, this is where the steeper downhill section starts. And you'll see what happens is that as I go down the hill, the drone maintains the same elevation. So first it followed me up in elevation. And as I go down, it maintains that highest point of elevation, resulting in me becoming a smaller and smaller blip in the video. And that concludes our ride over this old landfill with the DJI Mavic Air. Uh, it only lost track of me once initially as I started my bike ride. As I gained elevation, the drone seemed to be gaining elevation with me. I guess the footage uh, I'll be 
looking at home uh, is going to show me that. Um, as I descended the hill on the other side, however, the drone did not come down with me at all. It stayed at the highest elevation it had gained on the way up and from there it just kept following me. Uh, overall, well done. I'm really happy with this uh, newest family member of the DJI product line.